Here we go, all polished up. Very smooth and quiet now. Look at that. That's my fingers rubbing. Very nice. That should hold. Look at those wonky ass things. Oh my God. Anyway, <clears throat> that, <clears throat> this design should hold the rod in this section here nice and straight and rigid so that this can't flex and that the pushing action is here going this way. I'm afraid of this flexing, so I might put a little gusset right there. Plus, if I make it from nickel silver instead of brass, it'll be, it'll be more rigid. But I didn't want to butcher another nickel silver rod like I foolishly did the other day. So that's not going to happen. Uh, I'll make it work first with this one and bend it until I get it right, and then I will copy it slowly. <clears throat> now, you may be wondering, why did I make a Lego? Why did I put so many dadgum screws when I really only need four? Well, I don't think four is enough, but I don't think eight is the right number. I want six. A row, a row right in the middle, and a row. I wanted to practice this process. I've done it before, and I got these two in. They're also very crooked, but they're more crooked than these. This is this is better. It'll be more accurate on the next one, too. This is what stopped me. I had this one and the uh, tap. Yep, thank you. My Ace Hardware sold me a used, ragged-out tap. <clears throat> I got three holes that long cut with that thing. Pisses me off. I got eight with the brand-new one today. Eight. That thick. Twice as thick. So that's what's going to happen. I'm going to make this again because that end is too low and will make the rod go toward the tube of valves and that one doesn't. So I still have to figure out how to make sure that that goes through perfectly straight. <clears throat> and honestly, I think that my Ryobi drill press, this table, when I press on the lever, when I do this action, this visibly flexes down. It is not rigid. It is a piece of crap. Don't buy this drill press. Not even the fancy green one that is the, is the current model. It's garbage. There's a laser. It doesn't work. It's pointed God knows where. The overhead bulb burns out on the third time you use it every time. It just flashes and goes out. So it's everything about it is garbage. I think it could be turned into something good. But I don't know how to get that clamp back there tighter to this and this table more rigid. It just won't do it because it's too cheap. And then that Harbor Freight piece of garbage, oh my God, it's curved on the bottom. It wobbles on this bed. So I, I shouldn't have to buy this and then have someone machine the bottom. So I'm on a tool rant today. So I will replace these with better items when I can afford it, which will probably be Christmas or maybe even later than that. <clears throat> Until then, I managed to get this made <clears throat> with very inferior tools. And I also know my Proxon, I'm using a steel blade rather than a cutoff wheel. And I know what happened here on three of them. You see this edge? I cut it with the same blade as that one and both of these. So I know what the difference is, and I can produce that smooth edge on all four sides next time. So I'm going to make another one of these, and I'm going to mark it and scribe it and center punch it perfectly, and I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> this angle being below center, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I just don't. I have to work on that. I may have to put a level on my table <clears throat> and then uh, kind of bend it down as far as it'll go. So anyway, as my crappy phone goes in and out of focus. So that was what Uncle Wade did today for fun. He built a big, fancy two-part and eight-screw, essentially uh, what looks like a big Lego. I love it. I'm going to keep this forever. It's a fun little souvenir, just like <clears throat> all my little funny things here. This, this is actually a hardened anvil. I can use this for making small stuff, but I just love it. it. This looks like, you know, a paperweight from the Purdue Anvil Company, Purdue Tool Company, which I think was in the Midwest, but 
I don't know. That's really old. <clears throat> I don't use that much. I have this one that I do use a lot for making really small things. It's been very handy over the years. I don't know where it came from. It's not hardened. It's taken some real bashes. It's cheap, but it works. This one's hardened. I can beat the crap out of it. It doesn't make any difference. The top is kind of rounded, though, because it was cast and then not finished. <clears throat> so maybe I'll finish that someday. Anyway, that's it for now. There's the Lego. Admire it one more time. Ooh, ah, ooh, how about that? Isn't that sexy? All right, out.